So thanks. Welcome to Fist Fat Auto Tags. Yeah, SS yes, and a little bit a little bit of a different take on my usual photos today, so I'm telling you to be doing a web series or web source series of boycott tops in a way guys so in this photo I'll be recapping on E3 guys yeah see honestly in this photo I'll be by myself in this photo guys but I'm um, hopefully in a next Futsal S also fair series I will have tests on talking about theory of theory of different things. So yes so yeah let's get started on E3 guys so overall I think for me it's been a little sick crap E3 to be fair overall or maybe crap meh to be fair I think yeah I think there's some stand there's some things up to stand out for me so to start off with Ubisoft overall performance of Ubisoft from E3 it was very strictly done very boring it was very boring <laughs> to be fair but from what he learns what Smith Good idea, if I'm not, if I'm ever interested in learning a data or anything like that, I'll probably use it, but it won't be any time soon. Far Cry 6, no knew it was coming, it was supposed to come out like five months ago, in fact in February, but it looked too late, till October. Or it was, no, it was September, then it too late again to October. Yeah, I think that looks good, if I thought it didn't have the traffic of it, doesn't. It's not the best I've seen better <laughs> before, but I think the template will look nook, looks fun. To, at least for me, I'll probably all end up getting it and playing in it. And there's the Avatar team as well, which we only saw like, not any template for it, so and I don't know which direction uh, of storytelling that you're doing with it, so I can't say much about that other than okay, hopefully, if we do something to it with it, hopefully. So yes, I find that I was really open, <laughs> I was really really open that you would talk about the Star Wars thing that you're doing in, but I think it might be a little bit too early for them to talk about it. Hopefully next week we will be talking about it or, or at uh, T23 for Disney, if, if they might be talking about it then maybe, or at least a little bit about it then maybe. So overall, you'd be soft it was okay Nothing really exciting to be fair. I've only watched Ubisoft, Xbox, Capcom and Street Enix actually once sort I've watched. So I can't really say I bought it up on the PC Take Two and all that I only saw a few trailers of stuff. But it's okay. It just neat war tales for a PC code showcase. I think that looks interesting. I do like CO teams, I do like for teams. Like Northcraft. North Quad, yeah, which is something that it seems we'll think uh, what else is similar to that, but more it, it not, yeah, not thinking piece, more more attending my bot tip, yeah, it seems interesting enough, but, but I need to see more of it if I'm going to do it or not. <coughs> and then on to Xbox Dice, Xbox, yes, I think it's spelled also. I think for me, I think Xbox did the best one. It was very typical Xbox style, like trailer after trailer after trailer, with a few with a few people talking in between. I think interesting. I think yeah, I think you pretty much learned the Halo. No knew it was. I don't need to talk about that. It's interesting. Glad that the multiplayer is free. Great, and that's neat. And there's source talker too. I think that looks really interesting to play. I've, I think I've been wanting to play Resident Evil teams, and there's about two or three of them on PC. It came out in the, back in early 2010, nine maybe. I don't remember this as well. It's a winner, but fat time. So I'll probably will be playing them at some point, hopefully. And yes, and I think there's up on Force Horizon 5, and a bunch of different teams. And Force Horizon 5, oh, it's on, I probably won't pay for I won't be paying for it, but I'll. It's on Tampa, so I'll probably will play it if I'm in a racing mood. And we saw it awards too as well, so that looks really good to be fair. Either for me taking any template or what it's about, but I like the first one. I think it will be good. The second one hopefully it'll probably will be a little bit funny as well, hopefully. 
Yes, that's yes, and there's also the played tales with the game, which is a played tales too. The first one, too tame. I liked it. Hopefully, it keeps the same tone of it. It'll be keeping the story moving forward. Hopefully, it'll be good. And then, finally, Sea of Thieves, a pirate's life, when they are actually adding Pirates of the Caribbean into Sea of Thieves. So, that will be, I can't, I can't wait for that. I need to get back into it. I think it's about time that he did it. I don't know why it took him so long to do it, but it must be having to talk to Destiny about it and having to take people on board and all that, so it probably took a massive amount of time to actually do it. He also saw on Starfield by uh, Persista as well doing his export showcase, so I think, um, I think, I feel like it's going to be one of those things that might be slightly overhyped. I think, but I need to see or even more about it, to be fair, because for my trailer by itself, it looks boring. To be fair, it was a boring trailer. I only saw a somebody turning into a spaceship shop and a robot raving at you on that planet. And it's set in the, in the future, so I thought, oh, I need. I think it looks cool, but at the same time, I need to actually see more of the world and or worlds and see actually more. If it makes sense, and to, especially to play and find out a little bit more about it, to be fair. I then on to Street Enix, I think it's okay, I think they were meh, to be fair. The only thing that very much interested me was Life is Strange Cars. I'll, another thing I'll probably will pick up on day one, it'll be the, it's interesting to just play. Yeah. I think I've played because I did like the first three, no, four times if you include Captain, Ops, Captain Orson. So yes, Life of Strains, Life of Strains before Storm, Life of Strains 2, and Captain Orson. So it's been four times. I think it's a different developer this time, I think. Not uh, Tommy or whatever they're called. I think it's somebody else who's doing it, but it's the same franchise. So that will be interesting to see. <coughs> and then. It was Nintendo. I, don't, I didn't really, I didn't see Nintendo, so I only know just the like, announcements. The next of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and all of that, and a few other times I didn't remember. I didn't know what's it. And then I wanted to Capcom. I expected more from Capcom. To be fair, or they pretty much just and it set up. Yeah, no, what none of the DLC for which in the Evil Fairies did. You know, in fact, that you are pretty much already said that you are trying to do it. <coughs> and then you announced a few other things. And it, yeah, I didn't even remember. I didn't, I, it, you only had about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to talk about the art when you teams. He talked about some Japanese Nora team. Time to, yeah. So, yes, that. I think, yeah. And for three minutes, I didn't remember what. what Bunch of Final Fantasy teams and that. So, no offence, but I mean, I feel interested in all of them, to be fair. And then on to what else he thought about. I don't even remember that's so bad EV was. Yeah, so yes. So, I think overall EV has been, it was a met year, year EV, so yeah. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a like and expect more Polygon Talks coming soon guys.